here's how you can use speed fan to lower your CPU fan speed first go to configure and uncheck temperatures you don't want to monitor, monitor. We need core one, core zero, and core one here. If you click on this one, you can set desired temperature and temperature that it will give you that the speed fan will give you a warning about. So we're going to set desired temperature to 55 and warning to maybe 65. 55, 65. Generally speaking, you shouldn't have your CPU running hotter than maybe 80 degrees Celsius that's that's really too hot okay fans we just need going to need this first one because it's the only one that's giving us interesting data so we're going to uncheck these other ones voltages we're not going to change this speed check automatically variated for all of these and here you can set minimum value if you have some really low noise CPU fan and it doesn't bother you that it's always spinning at 20% and you can set maximum value if, if you have some CPU that's really powerful you can set it to 90% if you think it, think it will cool enough cool your uh, CPU enough so just remember to click to check this automatically variated for all three advanced uh, now you need to know chip of your motherboard you can find it using CPU Z if you open it and select mainboard then find sensor you can see here it's IT8718 so you select IT8718 there are some others sensors this is from hard disk and from some others but we're going to select this one now select PWM and change from Smart Guardian to Software Control. Click on Remember it. PWM number two, Software Control. Remember it. PWM number three, Software Control. Remember it. This is this Remember it is so that the speed fan remembers it after you restart your computer, your PC. OK. Now if you click this automatic fan speed, speed fan will change speed of your CPU fan. Here we see that temperature is rising for core 1 and for, for, core, one, for core 0 it's 56 degrees. Uh, since CPU usage is pretty high, it doesn't lower fan speed, but you can do it manually. In this case, change it to 60%, 60% and 60%. Sorry, 60%. We can see that fan speed is lower. It's 60% of what, uh, what it was before. But since this is checked automatic fan speed, speed fan increases its speed to lower the temperature. You can experiment a bit with temperature but generally speaking don't don't have it higher than 55 maybe because uh, 55 is a bit higher temperature for CPU than it usually is and everything over 80, 80 degrees will be too much for your CPU we shouldn't have CPU running at that high temperature ok so you can use these, temp these temperatures or you can change it to uh, 50 and 60 depending on many things for example it's usually hotter in the summer than it's in the winter and so on so we're going to leave it at 50 and 60 now it doesn't lower temperature because CPU usage is too high but if you want to force it manually we uncheck this automatic fan speed and enter value manually which is not 
what you should be doing because you can temperature CPU temperature can go too high so we go you, you see that fan speed is lower but temperature is higher so we're going to check automatic fan speed you can use your motherboard BIOS to change CPU clock ratio here it is 22 times but if you set it to maybe 10 times it will lower your CPU speed but it, it will still be okay if you don't do a lot of gaming or video, video editing of course you can increase it later if you want so motherboards made by Gigabyte have a utility called EasyTune which you can use to change fan speed and here in temperature settings uh, this is the value that you want to achieve and this is the value that speed fan will give you warning about.